All right, what's up, YouTube? So, I recently decided to go back to GTA 5 on PC, you know, with all the different mods that have come out, and GTA Online has gotten so many expansions, I figure I better actually go play it again, you know, whether it's uh, getting ready for the hype of Red Dead 2 on PC or GTA 6 whenever that eventually gets announced. Or just going through all the PC games that I haven't beaten yet that I own. Anyway, if you're like me and you recently tried to install GTA 5, you may have run into a problem. So, Rockstar now has their own game launcher, which, cool, whatever. I mean, you know, they usually do pretty good work, so it's not like we're going to have some blown up mess like Origin or you play. Oh god, I hope that doesn't result in a lawsuit, but whatever. So, I, I'm just going to install it to the default location. So, when you click through the installer, it's going to run. It'll all run just fine. The problem is going to come when you actually try to run the games launcher. And it's going to prompt you a couple times. It's going to update the game launcher, it's going to install the redistributables, and the social club. Well, for me, just the C++ parts, because I already had those installed. However, it's going to fail on the social club. It's going to have a code 1, which if you go down into the logs, it talks about missing DLL, and that's what threw me off for the longest time. But then I actually decided to go look at just the social club issues, and it was mentioned on a really good post by Jokerbug69, I think, or Mastery Off, whatever. Jokerbug is the one that posted the solution. And basically it came down to a security permissions issue. And this bothers me for a lot of reasons. You know, one, I would hope that they add this exception in the installer. And at the same time, you know, I, eh, whatever. But I do want to caution, don't go and disable force randomization of images or mandatory ASLR. That's address space layout randomization. Basically, it's just going to randomize where um, this launcher is going to run in memory on your computer. Now, for people that like aren't into security or just into computers in general, it's not going to mean a lot. But that is a big mechanism for preventing your machine from getting exploited. Um, and you don't want to disable that system wide. So what we can do, because I've tested this, I'm going to run over to Windows Security and go to App and Browser Control. It's going to be the fourth from the bottom, fifth from the top, whatever. Or you can click center left, either one, and go to Exploit Protection, Exploit Protection Settings. Now you're not going to mess with the system settings. Those are overall, you want to leave those in place. Windows gets a lot of crap for breaking, but I mean, Microsoft has done pretty good on security, and it, part of it is because they're doing all this by default. Now you want to add a program to customize. We actually need a couple. So I do it by exact file path. I'm sure someone can do the program name, but... I don't know what nuances, if I have to type the dashes or what, so whatever. So first you're going to go add the launcher. When I tried it, I had to do both, but you maybe don't need to worry about the launcher. Then you're also going to go add the social club installer, because that's what's breaking, is it's not installing the social club. Oops. Redistributables, Social Club, and the only executable in there is the Social Club installer. Sorry, I went through that last one kind of fast, but just click Override System Settings and make sure it's off. Go ahead and apply, and now you can go run the launcher. It's going to prompt you for all this. That's all right. See, now the um, installing prerequisite social club is actually taking some time now because it's actually installing. And there we have it. 
So I'm actually going to go install GTA through Steam now because that's where I own it. After this, I was able to disable... So I was able to just remove both of these, and it continued to work fine. But I just found this, and so if you ever get into an issue where you get that code one error again, just go add those back. It's probably because the game launcher had to update. Um, some other, you know, I mean, everything that's in here, well, Acrobat, I suppose not. Most of the things that are in here are something from Microsoft. Um, some programs that you install might add other things. I don't know if Rockstar should just add that in to change it when you install the program in the first place or what, but I would not recommend leaving it there just because, you know, if someone, I mean, people have exploited Steam in the past, you know, it's, it's just better if you keep every possible setting you can on. But if you ever run into that problem again, just add that back, let the game launcher update, disable it again. I will post links to that uh, original Rockstar post as well as a short step-by-step um, -step in the video description for those that don't want to listen to me talk. I don't blame you.